Demining protects soldiers, equipments, and weapons from mine explosions. When clearing the route for a military convoy, specific equipment or explosive launchers must be employed. Today, we'll show you the top 10 mine clearing vehicles. Number 1. The M1150 Assault Preacher The M1150 Assault Preacher vehicle, called the Breacher or Shredder, was built for the USMC. This combat engineering vehicle clears minefields for other vehicles. Full width and surface mining plows are among the M1150's engineering attachments, dozer blades, lane marking, and bomb removal devices. This equipment can be swiftly deployed or removed based on mission requirements. The Breacher superstructure features two mine clearing line charge launchers, and these rockets may fire explosive 150 meters detonating mines, bombs, or IEDs. Number 2 is UR-77 The UR-77 is a Soviet-made mine warfare vehicle designed in the 1970s. The UR-77 operated near the front lines but didn't fight. When operating near enemy positions, mechanized forces and artillery offer cover fire. In Syria, a UR-77 two-lane charge clears a 6 by 9 meter corridor. The UR-77 lacks mine protection while being designed for minefields. Armor-plated walls regulate the UR-77, steel armor protects the crew from gunfire and shell fragments. Number 3. Bionix The Bionix is an armored fighting vehicle with tracks that was made in Singapore by Singapore Technologies Kinetics. The Singapore military has added the Pioneer, a 30-ton countermine vehicle built on the Bionix chassis that has a mine flail system and can also clear mines. The Trailblazer can also mark its routes with a lane marking system with markers that are shot out by air pressure. The Pioneer has the first integrated flail system in the world. This is a rotating chain that sweeps up mines and sets them off. It can clear a path 100 meters long and 3.2 meters wide in less than 7.5 minutes. Number 4. Keeler Rhein Metal created the German Army's Keeler mine clearing vehicle. It is based on the M48A2 Patton medium tank hull, clears minefields for friendly vehicles, anti personnel and anti tank mines are also cleared. This military engineering vehicle has a rotor powered mine flail with 24 flails. This demining vehicle can clear a 120-meter lane in 10 minutes. The killer clears 98% of mines and it also has an automatically cleared path line marking system. At number 5, the K600. The K600 minefield breaching vehicle debuted in 2018. Hyundai Rotom prototype the XK600. The K600 clears minefields and breaches hostile obstructions, and this engineered truck has a big mine plow that can destroy advanced fuses by emitting a magnetic field. The K600 can quickly clear minefields for infantry and vehicles, allowing assault groups to advance before enemies can fortify. The machine has a path marking system that dispenses rods. At number 6, the BMR 3M. The BMR-3M mine-clearing vehicle is designed to replace the BMR-2. The BMR-3M is based on a T90 chassis with an all-welded superstructure. The BRM-3M has chained KTM-7 mine rollers to explode tilt-mass explosives. A single roller clears a 0.8-meter wide track for automobiles, and the BMR-3M's electromagnetic countermine technology detonates magnetic mines, and the vehicle also clears pressure-activated, rod-type, magnetic proximity, and dirt-embedded mines. At number 7, the ProHot-1 The ProHot-1 is based on the BMR-3M demining armored vehicles. It is meant to build 4.5-meter wide pathways over minefields in warfare, and it operates manually, remotely, or automatically. A predetermined path is followed. The complex can neutralize radio detonated mines on snow and in the ground. One trowel had rink cutters and landmine jammers. Two people are on board. Troops can hold three sappers. At number 8, the Hydrema 910. Production of the mine clearing vehicle Hydrema 910 MCV began in 1996 for military and peacekeeping use. This mine clearing truck is in use in Denmark. The Hydrema 910 MCV has a revolving flail and 72 chains with hammers at the ends that borrow into the ground and rip apart or eliminate landmines. 
with a 3.5 meter broad clearance path. The Hydrima 910 clears anti tank and anti personnel mines. The Hydrima 910 travels in the opposite direction of traffic, with the cap in the back. It can withstand TNT bombs weighing 10 kilograms. At number 9, the AMX 30B2. Under a contract with the French army, Jihad Industries made a version of the AMX 30 MBT that can clear mines. This version is now used by the French army engineers. This vehicle is based on a standard AMX 30B or AMX 30B2 MBT chassis. An Israeli Ramta or UK Pearson engineering plow type mine clearing device is mounted at the front of the hull, and the Jihad Industries magnetic field generator is mounted on either side of the hullware. It can also be fitted with a roller type mining clearing equipment, like the ones made by the Israeli company Urban Industries, instead of plow type equipment. At number 10, the Listva. The Listva clears mines along the Depole to Ampole and Yarm missile launcher routes. It physically and automatically neutralizes remote control mines. Listva can detect metal containing explosives at 15 km per hour and 100 meters. In front of the car are 16 induction sensors and electromagnetic situation management devices and creators shielded remote detonated explosives. Cell phones and pagers are often used to explode them and the vehicle can replicate their impulses. The high-powered microwave transmitter can only destroy mines with remote detonation or electronic systems, but it can identify and warn about pressure mines. And that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.